Kitia. Did I pronounce that properly? Kitta? Kitta? Yes. Okay. I'll butcher it again. Say, hey, what's up? What's your, you ready for the hot seat? <laughs> I think so. Okay. So what's your question? Uh, I am in a relationship with someone. Um, I have been How long? Uh, How a month. I met him. Have you had sex yet? Yes. Okay. I just need to get context. So keep going. Yeah. I met him about four months ago on a boat on vacation. Okay. And was it a uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, I uh, we texted. I matched his energy, um, and then at some point he moved it to the phone. And at one point, about two weeks in, saying, "I really like you, and I want to have a relationship with you." I never had a man do that before, so that was really Aww. fun. Yay. Um, yay. <laughs> uh, a lot of what you just said sounds like him. He sounds like he's in alignment. Um, but uh, he's not the best with honoring his phone call times. And so it kind of freaks me out. Okay. Uh, I kind of need someone that is more reliable with phone times. Uh, if you tell me you're going to call at two, don't text me, hey, I can't talk. I'll call you in three hours. Um. Uh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's let's jump the, on that for a second. So he says he's going to call you at two, and then he says, "Hey, I'm tied up. I can't call you for a few hours later." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's at least honoring the commitment of of reaching. So obviously, something has come up that requires that attention. So is it during the day we're talking about, or at four in the morning? Um, he's a six hour time difference. Uh, so. Yeah. That brings a whole nother time thing too. So what no, he might wait, be calling. Wait, wait, wait. So when you say you've been dating for a month. Okay, in a relationship, means... in a relationship for a month. Okay. So let's, let's be clear about this. Okay. So you met him on a boat, you communicated mm -hmm. for four months, and then did he fly out to you or did you fly out to him? I came out to him. You came out to him. And how much time did you spend with him? A week. And then I'm supposed to be going back in March. Okay. Uh, but so I ended it a few days ago. You ended the relationship a few days ago. Yeah. Okay. And um, so, so, well, where do you want to take this conversation? So my issue is, is that uh, my brain goes into freak out mode uh, when he, he, you are right. When, if, if it's like, Hey, I'll oh, call wait, you. Is he in another country? Yes. Okay. I, when you now it dawned on me six hours, I'm like, wait a minute. My math says. Okay, so I'm just curious. Um, I know. What um, country is he in? Paris. Okay, and where are you? Uh, United States. Where in the United States? East Coast? Pennsylvania. Or? Okay, so relatively East Coast. Okay. Um, all right, so he's in Paris. You flew out to him. You had a rocking time. You came back. He wasn't communicating at the level that you would appreciate, and you ended right. it. So, yeah, okay. so this past Saturday, uh, he acted shady a few times, and I was just like, okay, this is too much. Um, my brain goes straight into... By the way, let's clarify what shady is for everybody. <laughs> what is shady? Uh, so, uh, oh, 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 God, I got to remember this. Um, so at first, it was he called me and my, my headphones picked up and when his head, my headphones picked up, I didn't get to it, but then I called him back. He didn't answer. And then I texted and I was like, Hey, you know, my phone went to the headphone. Sorry. Can you call me back? And then I call him again. He doesn't answer. And my text never went to read or never went to like it acknowledged on okay. the phone for like two hours. Okay. So you either one, do airplane mode or two, shut off your phone. Or it or could be you've got, you know, you got internet issues. You've got other stuff that could be happening. So maybe. your brain makes up a story mm -hmm. of what happened. So, so mm -hmm. it's either you, you call it shady, but it's really mm -hmm. a story that you made in your head. So then what happened when you guys two did finally communicate with one another? Um, and then what else happened? Oh, then he said he would call me at five. Yeah. at night um and then he never did 
So when, five at night, your time is what time? His time. Oh, uh, what? Uh, eleven. It's probably four in the morning, 11. three in the morning. Eleven. No, if 11. it's five p.m. your time. Right, six hours ahead. A nine hour time difference. Six hours. Six hours. Oh, six hours. Excuse me. That's right. I'm thinking from Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, he might have fallen asleep. He said, uh, and then I called him at like nine and he was like, oh, well. By the way, can we just let Melanie know? Sure, he's really living in Paris. By the way, I just want to let let Melanie know that you actually physically went to him in Paris. So you didn't know where he's at. Okay, so keep going. So he was shady. and, And what was the trigger that ended the relationship? Those two things that my like text, he it seemed like he shot his so phone did, off. Okay, so how did you end the relationship? Was it text? Was he, it he called at two times at 3 a.m., which is nine o'clock his time? And okay, then he first, saw I'm, out. I'm gonna interrupt yeah. for a second. He called you, your headphones picked up. So at, he you were telling me at, a moment at ago. Two o'clock, yes, at two o'clock. Okay. Yep. So 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 there could have been a glitch that happened. Okay. I'm just saying, at least he called you. It wasn't like you called him and then it was shady. He called you and then your phone picked up and maybe, maybe he was thinking that you're sleeping with someone else. Just for the record, I just want, you know, he could be making up his own thoughts. Okay. Get to the ending now. So he called at three. I didn't answer my call. He didn't, I, my phone was on do not disturb. And then he saw that I was on Facebook at 4 a.m. And he called and I answered it. And I just said, like, what the hell were you doing all day? You stood me up and I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. And I hung up okay. the phone. How did he respond to that? I don't know. I uninstalled WhatsApp. So I have no clue what he's done or said. But today on Facebook, he sent a message saying... Uh, could you please unblock me from WhatsApp? Okay. So now, why don't you ask me the question that caused you to come on? Uh, I I just... I don't... Is this stuff in my head normal? Like, you know, the stories that our head creates of just like every time, like, I can't get a hold of him or every time he doesn't answer his phone or every time he calls me like... Do you remember when I show this chart of emotional maturity and relationship skills? No, I've never seen that before. I show this all the time. So which okay. category are you in? Fudge if I know. Huh? <laughs> I said fudge if I know. Do you, are, do you have clinical issues? Are you emotionally healthy or are you dysfunctional? I don't know. Um, uh, Let's ask everyone in the audience. Is she... Clinical, dysfunctional, or healthy? Everyone, what is your? Let's do a poll right here. Okay. I know. I know. My therapist tells me that I should read uh, emotional intelligence, and I've not done it in three years. Oh, the emotional intimacy. I'm sorry. The emotional emotional intelligence. Yeah, I, I, I got it somewhere in the background of me. So, okay, here's the thing: you are normal. You are a normal, red-blooded human being. Um, and to make matters worse, you're a female. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. Right. I'm just being true. Um, because women are more emotional because you guys have periods and shit like that. Um, all right. I'm being completely intentionally kidding here. Um, your feelings are very normal. Okay. I'm back. You're not, they're not healthy for you, but they're normal. Okay. Um, I suspect you have some childhood wounds and adult traumas in your past that have mm-hmm. gone unhealed, that causes you to make up stories in your head and you're not living in a present moment. You're living in a future tense, particularly making up stories or you're living in the past, okay? That's a very common thing human beings do, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and because of this, and you chose a long distance relationship, which means on some spiritual level, you chose a dysfunctional dynamic because it wasn't going to be a regular dynamic. It was, it cre- you, on a spiritual level, you create an opportunity to sabotage something. 
Okay. What I mean by spiritual level, your subconscious, I, I do believe everything from a spiritual point of view, but I think your subconscious chose a dynamic that allowed you to create a story in your head that allows you to stay stuck. If you truly want to make changes in your life, I invite you to do a deep dive into healing childhood wounds and adult traumas and date in a traditional fashion of meeting someone locally, going out once or twice, building up rapport, not via telephone, because everything over the telephone creates what's known as artificial intimacy artificial intimacy. It is not real intimacy. Intimacy is built through the experiences you have with a person, genuine intimacy um, versus virtual intimacy. So it is through multiple different types of experiences of social activities, hobbies, mutual interest, spending time with family and friends. Through all of these types of experiences, you build a stronger bond with another human being. But my invitation for you is to go back and work on yourself before you put yourself in an environment, because most likely what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So if we, as a, as a therapist, would look at your past relationship experience to see how that mimics or parents the type of love you received as a child, and you would begin to do some healing around that space and also look at your adult relationships and your experiences and why you choose certain things and get to the root of what's going on. And this will help you. Oh, there's another great book to learn how to talk to the voices in your head. Oh, I can't begin to stress this enough. This book. Okay, yeah, I've always wanted to read that. Okay, here's my instructions. You only read one chapter at a time. One chapter at a time. It is... Okay. It's 19 chapters. It'll take you 19 days. This will teach you how to learn to talk to the voices in your head. How do you feel about the advice I've just given you? Good. Um, are you, I guess it's two questions. Are you essentially saying that it's very possible of what I thought happened may not have happened? Absolutely. The, we the we other more thing often make up the wrong story than the right story. He did say the day before that this long distance thing was being hard on him. And he said, what happens if I was to oh, get involved with someone else? Okay. I just literally opened the door for you to, I just want to be upfront with everyone listening right now. I just literally opened the door for you to continue to choose this relationship, which is going to most likely implode anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just being upfront, you know, it is most likely you are making up stories in your head. Now, that doesn't mean your intuition might not be right either, but at the same time, you will most likely sabotage this in some way, shape or form. He's coming out to see you in March? No, I'm coming back. Okay. So and is it on your dime or does he pick up any of this cost? Mine. He's currently like doing stuff and he's in between work and stuff. So. Okay, so um, it costs him up him for you to come out and have sex with him. And by the way, French men are notorious for having sex with everybody. So um, that's just what I've heard. I can't own that one. I've just heard that. Um, Kitty, did I help? Yeah, um, I think it's helpful about the childhood trauma. And um, it's kind of like what you're saying that I'm, you're not saying it, but essentially what you're saying is that until I work through this stuff that I'm going to keep self-sabotaging relationships thinking in my head. Yep. By the way, very common. We human beings are dysfunctional. Yay. <laughs> um, can I um, reach in and give you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of appreciation for being on? Thank you. I appreciate All right. it. All right. Um, Thanks. The, the what oh, I I I'm guess saying goodbye, but what? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess no, my question is is um uh I forget. I forget what it is now. Maybe I'm not supposed to ask them. I guess it's good. Go ahead and ask. Um so what do I do for March? And when I see oh, him, like the hotel is buy the ticket? Yeah. Well, I mean, when can you cancel it? I really can't. I would lose all my money. Oh, well, then you're going to end up going anyway. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to I'm just going to I'm just going to predict 
that you guys will figure it out. You'll play this game. You'll block him for a while. He'll try to get in touch with you. You get back in. You'll see each other. And then you'll repeat this all over again. But guess what? The lessons we learn sometimes are by big financial costs, too. Yeah. You're yeah. treating it as a vacation relationship. That's what happens when you do long distance, and especially when it's another country. I mean, the reality of the two of you ever living in the same space is like a hundred to one. Yeah. Yeah. He's graduating college, which he's an older person graduating college. And he's, we talked about him moving here in June, but, uh, I pretty much self sabotage. Oh this is a 90 day fiance story. Watch no. the TV show. Oh my God, you guys are like 90 day fiance. It cracks no. me up. No, I'm not doing that. Um, by the way, you played a game by blocking him, by the way. So just so you know, you're, you're just, why, just my, But you watch on these, these videos of like walk away. And like to me, it was just like he had sex. So I'm walking away. Like I'm just you, you have no away. idea what he did. He may have. I have no, have idea. no idea. Okay, My listen, thing, I gotta let you, know. you go. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate You're it. Welcome. Big hugs. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. So, uh, folks, I just have to say, okay, here's the deal. Obviously, she owned, her, well, I think she's owning her part, or at least I think, I hope she takes my advice and does some deep healing, chill, healing childhood wounds and adult traumas that will most likely continue to sabotage. This is one of the challenges we'd have when we go into long distance dynamics, especially in other country. And there's already some interesting factors here involved. He's got professional issues. He's talking, you're talking about moving here. He's going to be then dependent upon her. Then that's going to create all kinds of problems. It could be that he's seeking just a green card. If you watch 90 Day Fiance, watch what happened with, um, oh God, what was the couple from the Dominic Republic and she lived in New Jersey? Oh my God, that was a shit show. But nonetheless, um, I hope she heeds my advice and does some work on herself. Um, because again, if you haven't healed your shit, you're just going to find another dynamic that's going to put you in a situation of unhappiness. And I'm here to promote happiness for everyone instead of sadness.